in here one of my favorite spots to fish mostly for bass i've got in front of me i've got a a rod that i got at walmart a number of years ago not a number of years ago i got earlier this year i should say a number of months ago i should say this thing is really really cool apparently the wind is picking up out here at times lay this down next to the goose crap so i can't get me a bass i'm gonna react to this white little grub here Surprised they're not biting right now. The water level's up a little higher than it normally is. I'm gonna go in their little cover spots over here. If I can get something to spring up. Now this rod that I got about a month or two ago, this here is a compact rod and reel. I fished with it maybe once or twice already today. I've done it before. Out at Fernand Lake and Coeur d'Alene, which I'm not going to go to today. What I'm having to do is I set my drag, which pretty good spot right now for what I'm what I'm using. I'm not known for my love of spinning reels, anyway. So there's a con right there for two. There's an interested bass right there going after it. This thing drop. I know the bass can see me. A little timid. I'm not being quick to pick this thing up. I'm just letting it lay right where it's at. Finesse fishing this. Going extra slow. But I picked this up a while back. And cons I have against it. For one, it feels flimsy. When I start adjusting these eyelet things around, they don't feel sturdy to me. But once you get them locked in, on the pro side, they, they do seem to settle down. It is really, really lightweight, so that can be a pro or a con. It can flip and pitch pretty well. It's a nice little backpack rod and reel here to have. on the pro side. I'm just using this to slow fish around cover, around like rocks and trees and other things around here that I know that the, that the bass are playing around in. I'd like to catch a crappie or bluegill as well. This is the perfect lure for them. But they've seen all that crap before so they know what to avoid, they know what to go after. I'd like to get a catch on camera here for you guys using this. I want to see if it'll catch fish. That's my main goal in doing this. And see if this rod and reel will indeed catch a fish. I've got a bass chasing it. It's a bass right there. Bad thing about this is I know that fish can see me. This is not the fluorocarbon I normally use. This is four pound test monofilament. I hate mono for obvious reasons. That of which is memory, because it remembers where the kink happened last time. And it keeps kinking up in the same place just to piss you off. What I'm doing here, light little twitches. Okay, something interested, staying off the reel as much as possible. We're gonna leave as much slack line as we can. Even though I'm keeping my rod tight, rod tight, my rod line tight. Getting back to basics here. I use bait casters so much, you know. I don't really use spinning reels that often. Because some of them cannot handle this motion that I'm doing like I would do with a bait caster. Select ones will do it, but not a lot will. I'm trying to stay out of the rocks when I get hung up. That way I can let it fall down toward the rocks. Then take it right back up. Letting it fall back up. It's got nice, nice, um, I don't know if it's even a word, bounceability, I guess you'd say. 
can bounce, it can cast along in places, even though it's not very heavy for, for a lure on the end of it. It came with a small little mini tackle box, and I'm just using what it came with. I'm not using any of my own tackle, like I would use with my bait casters. In the future, I do plan on getting another spinning reel set. I'm probably going to get one of the Guggen ones, probably Rob's from Lunkers TV. Probably I'm going to get his spinning reel. I haven't quite decided yet. I might go after John B's. I haven't made that distinction yet. But no matter, even though I'm primarily a bait casting fisherman, I'll still use a spinning reel. We're getting back to basics with fishing here. I think this thing does pretty well overall, despite being at its price point for 20 bucks with tax. It was 19.99, I believe it was, or 97, something like that, on the shelf at Walmart. It just wasn't moving along very well, and they clearanced it out, and it's now out of their stores, as far as I'm aware. Do I think this is a good backpacking rod and reel? Absolutely. I'd put this in my backpack, I'd take it with me, I'd carry it, I would do a lot with it. Especially if I can't carry one of my seven foot six bait casters or seven foot one, whatever it is. Oh yeah. And one thing to watch too, even though this is a product review, this is also a how to. Watch your bubbles in the water. You see what looks like fart bubbles in the water and I can guarantee you fish are nearby guaranteed I didn't cast that anywhere near I want where I wanted it unfortunately people fish places way too much they don't practice catch and release they think that they have to take home every fish that they get and you don't what a lot of people don't know, when I commented on someone's YouTube channel earlier, when I was a kid, I would watch guys like Roland Martin, Scott Martin's dad. And I'd watch Bill Dance and some of these others. And, you know, what, what I would do is I would watch their techniques. I would see them take the fish and put it back in the water. I'm like, why are they putting the fish back in the water? And as a kid, it made no sense to me because I thought you had to keep every fish you caught. I had a fish on and I lost him. But I thought you had to keep every fish that you caught. Apparently you do not. One of the things of fishing, you're gonna have where you have a fish on like I just did and they're gonna come off. They want that lure bad enough, they'll go back and get it. And to answer the question, Yes, it will catch a fish. Okay, little guy, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Get this thing to calm down a little bit. All right. Well, we achieved our goal. The little baby. We achieved the goal that we were hoping to achieve. Catching us a little baby bass. There you go, little guy. Nice little bass. Get him back in the water. I'm close enough, I could just toss him in. So there's your answer. Yes, it'll catch a fish.